everyone, it is Toby here, and in today's video I thought I'd take some time to sort of review my first month of being coached by Big Loz. So I've come to the end of my first block with Loz. This session that I'm doing right now is going to be the final session of this block, and I wanted to give you guys some thoughts on how it's been going so far and a sort of a bit of a review uh, one month in and whether or not I regret uh, or would do again uh, everything that I've done so far. Before I get into it all, it is very important that I say one month is not nearly enough time to give a comprehensive review on the coaching service. Uh, coaching is a long-term commitment uh, and to get real results out of it, you have to stick out it uh, for a long, long time. So me giving a one month review here is not to go out and say whether or not it is worth it, whether or not it is comprehensively like perfect for getting you every goal you need. I've only done one month myself, so I cannot yet say what sort of results it has brought me. Uh, the reason for this video really is just to recap the last uh, months of training, the last block, uh, the first block I've done, any useful things that I think you guys should know about the coaching, whether or not I think it's worth it so far, uh, not taking into account anything uh, that happens in the future. Uh, and yeah, just sort of a bit of a talky video while I do uh, my session here. So do not take this word as gospel. Do not take it as someone who has been doing this coaching for a long time. As I said, this is my first month of coaching. So my review is going to be a lot different to someone who has done, say, a year's worth of coaching. This is just more of an anecdotal uh my experience so far uh, and looking forward to getting into the future. So now that that uh, sort of disclaimer is out of the way, I'm going to get this training session done, this final session of this block, uh, and then we will sort of talk about uh, yeah, various things that I'd like to talk about, uh, about the coaching. So yeah, this channel is all about you guys following my experience through the lifting journey and being able to take some advice from it. So treat this video just the same. Uh, I am not telling you to go out and do anything, I am just telling you uh, my experience with everything. But without further ado, let's get some training out of the way. It's a strong man session today, we got some log, we got some farmers, some other fun stuff. And then, yeah, I'll get with you afterwards to see about that coaching. Okay, so now training is out of the way and I ended it with a new farmer's walk PR of 115 kilo per hand for 10 meters and it felt easy, it felt really good. We are going to be talking about uh, and rewinding our first month of coaching with Big Loss, as said in the intro and the whole point of this video. And again, I must reiterate, one month is not enough time to give a full review on the coaching and its benefits because it is a long-term commitment and you need multiple months of coaching to be able to see any real benefit but there are some benefits i have seen in just the one month that i have been coached by lars and that's what we're going to be talking about today so this last month the first block i've been doing has been all about consolidating form and making sure that i know how to lift correctly because obviously lars doesn't know me so he doesn't know how well i've taught myself how well i've been taught the different compound movements and the different lifts 
Uh, obviously, if you follow the YouTube channel, you know I'm pretty okay at most of them, but this uh, month was about making sure that I get the form nailed, the form correct, uh, so it was a lot of lower reps, uh, lower weight, sorry, higher reps, making sure that the form is pretty good. Now, if you follow the channel, you may be aware that I don't do a lot of higher reps. So this was actually quite a challenge for me, getting started working at the higher rep range because, um, yeah, I've not really touched over five reps uh, for multiple sets with the compound movements, but we had uh, doing eight is what we ended up doing. So, and it wasn't too light. It was pretty heavy still for eight. So I'm happy with how it worked out. And this is what uh, it did for me. So for the most part, Loz was happy with all of my form. The uh, one nitpick uh, that he did have was my elbows on the log. I wasn't bringing them in enough. This was something that I, I knew uh, and just completely forgot uh, to work on. So having Loz there uh, to really point it out and make a point of me improving it has helped me uh, get my log uh, a lot more clean. And I've noticed that the lift that has been going the most smoothly this program has been the log press because uh, since I managed to bring my elbows in, the weights are just feeling stupidly light. So definitely on for a new PR there. And another one was the squat. When uh, I get fatigued, I tend to let my lower back take over the movement and lean forward, uh, which is not ideal. Again, having Laws point that out uh, was something that I could fix and work on holding myself more upright, which is getting better and better. And I'd say that my squat, again, has really benefited. Uh, I don't know how much because obviously I haven't tested any PRs and I won't be doing uh, for a, a short while yet. But yeah, those were just a couple nitpicky things that Laws pointed out that I myself wouldn't have worked on otherwise. Another benefit of having Laws for the last month is he's introduced me uh, to some accessory exercises that I wouldn't have necessarily heard of otherwise or done otherwise so mainly those being the tempo squat and the tempo bench so the five seconds down you know two seconds at the bottom stuff that you've seen and that stuff has never really occurred to me to do um i've always done other accessories for things like that and they have been really beneficial at nailing in that form uh, and some other accessories that uh, i didn't know already as well he's introduced me to so yeah, just a few new exercises that I wouldn't have otherwise done that have definitely been beneficial uh, in a lot of my lifts so far. And the main benefit that I've gained from coaching so far is just the, the being held accountable. Uh, yeah, the accountability really. Knowing that if I don't do everything that I'm told to do, it will have a negative effect in the future. And it's not just me who's written the program this time. Uh, I have paid Loz to go ahead and do that for me. So... Uh, and the constant daily check-ins and everything working around anything that may come up has been really helpful because usually say that I've written myself a 12-week program and then in the middle of it I've had to take a week off, for example, for some reason. I wouldn't know how to work around that uh, or anything like that. Whereas with Loz, he's got a lot of experience and he can help me through uh, any difficulties that I come across. Luckily, I've not come across anything major yet, like an injury or anything, but I did uh, go away with my family for a week and that was programmed in accordingly. And I mentioned the constant updates. So um, the main thing that I found not really surprising, but really, really helpful and beneficial is um, just being able to message Loz. Like uh, the whole coaching thing is run through a website where there is a live messaging uh, area where you message uh, between you and your coach, uh, in my instance, Loz, and... Yeah, Loz replies pretty much within, I'd, I'd like to say within an hour, a couple hours, if that, like of when I reply, it's pretty much instantaneous. Uh, occasionally, like actually most of the time, he'll reply pretty much instantly to me whenever, like during the session, say uh, I'm doing something and something doesn't feel right in the session, I'm like, do I need to replace this? He'll reply quick enough that I'm able to make that adjustment. So uh, for instance, just today, I got my new program through from Loz and he programmed me in leg press now. Obviously, I'm in a garage. I don't have access to a leg press. So I asked, what should I do uh, in place of leg press? And he instantly replied uh, with the trap bar deadlift. So yeah, it's pretty much uh, instantaneous. He works around everything. It's really, really good. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be continuing this coaching in the future. It's been really great. Uh, and of course, the ability to send videos that I record anyway uh, for you guys and for my Instagram directly to Loz and having feedback, uh, the different sets that I do. It's been really, really helpful in getting that form nailed 
and keeping me accountable of clean reps uh, because say I'm just doing it for myself here and I'm in a room, nobody's here, no one to judge me. Sometimes I can get lazy and sometimes my reps get a bit sloppy. But if I'm recording them and sending them to Lars, I want them to be as good as possible. So helps me accountable and make sure I'm doing nice clean reps all the time. So that is basically my like quick 30 second month in review of uh, the coaching that I've done. So it's been really, really helpful. I'm definitely going to be continuing doing the coaching, as I said, many times in this video. It's a long term commitment. There is no point signing up for just one month and then quitting it because you may as well just have like a one on one consultancy then to get your lifts right because yeah, it's not, not a lot of point in just doing the one month, I'd say. So we're into month two now. I'm very excited. The weights are getting heavier. Um, and yeah, it's really, really going very well. So Laws, if you see this, cheers for the coaching. I say it every day uh, whenever I get feedback, but I really do appreciate it. It has been really, really beneficial. And to everyone else watching, obviously, if you're watching me, there's a high likelihood you know who Laws is, but if you don't already, he has a brilliant YouTube channel if you want uh, advice there and just to follow the support and of course the coaching service that I use myself. But that is pretty much everything I've got to say for this video. I hope you enjoyed this bit more of a talky video with a short training montage in there. Uh, and of course, let me know in the comments down below if there is anything else you want to see on the channel uh, and I will try my best to do it. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like down below. It is free and it really helps out the channel a lot. If a lot of you like in the early hours of this being posted, it gets boosted to YouTube and more people who might like my channel end up finding it. And um, we're trying to grow this channel past uh, the 500 subscriber mark by the end of the year. So hopefully we can do that. We've got a few months left yet, but otherwise, again, to help me out on that, please go down below and hit subscribe. Again, it's free. I won't spam your inbox. Uh, weekly videos at most, and most of them are just me training uh, and just my experience going through the sport of strongman as just an average bloke, basically. An average, yeah, no, not roided up, not anything like that. Just bloke doing strongman for pure fun, um, which I know a lot of you guys can relate to because I find it quite difficult myself to relate to some of these huge, gigantic professional strongman guys. It's sometimes nice to have someone who's a bit more relatable. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Toby, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.